what's really special is in this room, there are some really special stories behind every single person. You as an individual have your own story. So what is it? Like, what is your legacy? You know, when you look at legacy, what do you think about? You think about, wow, man, what kind of guy he was. You know, what did he do? And, and I, I think about, like, okay, if I want to leave, if I leave here today, this is the last thing of me. Just look, at, look back at my legacy, what I've done, how I embraced myself into the city, how I try to get involved at, at all costs into the community. You know, I, uh, the late Derek Thomas, I took over his foundation. And um, when he passed, and, and now I'm running his foundation for him. I actually had my own foundation. I put it, I, I put it aside and just grabbed Derek because I know it was a baby up there. He wants to teach the inner city kids how to read. So we have a reading program in the, in the Derek Thomas Neal Smith third loan um, program. And, and I just, I, I, I really, I threw myself out to the, to the public because I want to be this known as a guy that's approachable. Because when I play, you probably met me on one of my good days or one of my bad days. And a lot of people, I get that. You know, it's like sometimes you just don't want to be bothered. Sometimes you just, you know, I was, in, I was in good behavior. But nevertheless, I am a very approachable guy now. And I just want people to feel and realize that they can always come up to me and ask me questions and always feel that, you know, well, he's a guy that's, that's, that's done a lot for our community. And, um, you know, I, I left it all on the field. It's that, that, that part of my chapter is over. Now, I've met, you know, I've, I've been, I have like three or four or five Hall of Famers, but I haven't got to the NFL Hall of Famers. So that probably be the last platform. If I can get there and get over and get my gold jacket, then I just end that chapter of my, uh, my career. So, you know, there's still some things that's out there, but yet, you know, I still got a lot of work to do. No, I'm not getting into politics. I'm not running for mayor. <laughs> no, I'm not that mad. That's not my thing. But you know, I um, I just speak highly of you know what Kansas City has been to me and how you know and the community, the great people I've met over the years.